Lord. This is the day. Come on. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad to be in it. I'm not sure if you I am here. I am out of town, but not out of the state. We're here in Sacramento, California. And, you know, to, at, you know, to save the children's uh, event and um, a lot of other powerful things here. I'm not even sure if you guys can see, if anybody can even hear me or see me or, so I'm going to ask, is there anybody there? If, can you hear me? Praise the Lord. Come on. I want to make sure you guys can, that you guys can even hear me on this update here. Let me, this, uh, somebody put on there. God bless each and every one. Can anyone hear me? I want to make sure I'm coming in clear. Uh, I don't do very much, you know, on the scene. Just say, I can hear you. We can hear you. God bless each and every one of you. Come on, somebody up there saying they can hear me. Yes, I need to say that you can hear me. Okay, that's important. Okay, and put it on today's date. Share this if you can. Good, great, hallelujah. That's what I was waiting for. Um, anyway. The signals here, I think it's the signals here are really good. Praise the Lord for that. And I now get to today's date because I want to get it on there so the viewers can see, those that are watching live, uh, can see the importance of the date today. Somebody put that up there. The date, glory to God, uh, what's happening. So much is going on in our world, but... The Lord is, you know, what I love about it is, I know people don't like to say, well, the Lord is in control, but the scenario of it is, if the Lord is not in control, then who is in control, <laughs> you know? So the Lord is in control. The way I read it in the scriptures, God is on the throne and in control of no matter what we hear and what we see, and what we don't hear and what we don't see, God is behind the scenes because he's in charge of it all. And the Lord knows how it all ends. And I'm glad the Lord is in control. Believe me, I am. I don't want the devil to be in control. You <laughs> Think about that. Or well, I don't want, you know, uh, the controls to be in, in, in the White House. I'm glad the Lord is in control. I'm glad. Praise God, but in a good way, even though he gives us a free will, he gives us a free will, he gives us a free will and the consequences to those free will could either be, could result in good or bad, but all things work itself out for the good for those that love the Lord and what working according to his purpose. That's in Romans eight, glory to God. I want to put the date up there because this is important. Let's put this date up there and. You know, I'm a little bit, uh, help me out here with the, trying to get savvy with the phone. Uh, it's a little different. It's a little better control when you are um, in your studios. You have a little bit better control here. So let's see how this is going to work. Let's see. Somebody put that up there in the chat. Glory to God. Thank you. Uh, I want to, because this is, this is Saturday, April, Saturday, April um, 13th. April 13th, that's it, Saturday, April 13th, and yeah, usually Kelly, oh, perfect, glory to God, look at that, Saturday, April 13th, and so I can be heard very clearly, as I was driving up, I decided, you know, why fly when I could just drive, and I'm literally praying, you know, all this time, it's like a five-hour, I'm praying, and the Lord is showing me things on the highway regarding the situation with the Israel and Iranian conflict that the world seems to be dealing with right now. And, you know, when you're driving and you're getting these kind of vision, that's powerful when you're driving so this is pretty good and when the lord tells me and show and shows me these things 
I said, well, Lord, what do you want? And I asked the Lord, is that something that I'm supposed to release uh, to the saints? Or do I just keep it to myself and pray? Because there's a lot of things that we keep to ourselves, and we pray. And, you know, God deals with it. And so I said, Lord, if you want me to release it uh, to the saints, please tell me now, show me a sign that to release it to the saints and just do a live stream right now so they can receive it. I said, okay, bingo. Then I said, there it is. We're going to do it. And so anyway, you know, I have to turn, I have to pull over and I have to write it down because he's getting down. I'm getting downloads. So I got to pull over and write it down. And it was really interesting. I, I, I saw a rainbow. That's right. These are glory days and not glory days. Hallelujah. Um, I saw a rainbow and the Lord is like, and I was like, Lord, I love rainbows. You show me a rainbow right here on this highway, this highway. And it wasn't even raining. And I seen the rainbow. Now, right now it is raining uh, here in Sacramento. And so there's no way I'm going to do a live stream outside. Uh, and you can see it. I'm right in front of the Capitol right now. I actually have to speak in one hour on, in front of the Capitol here in Sacramento. I don't know if we can get the cameras to, to show you this. Let me see if I can show you if any of you would like to even see the Capitol. I'm wearing my sunglasses right now because of the glare and it's raining. But I don't know if you guys want to even see the Capitol, but it's there. And I don't know what they're going to, how they're going to do it. There's several speakers and I'm one of them. So I don't know if uh, at all uh, uh, how they're going to get that because I um, I, to I told uh, one of the um, event coordinators that the it was going to rain. And so you got speakers out there. You got all kinds of stuff out there. And I don't want anybody to get in trouble uh, get because of the electric. But I'm supposed to be out there in about an hour. And and pray. I'm my. I was called to pray on the Capitol for our nation and for our state of California. And uh, so I'm excited about that. Praise the Lord. So I'm asking you guys to pray. But let me see if I can show you a picture. I think you guys want to see the Capitol here of uh, Sacramento. I think you want to see it. Let me look at the uh, chat and see if there's anybody is even interested in that. Uh, let's see. Thank you for uh, stopping and coming online. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. I don't think anybody wants to see the Capitol, so I guess I won't show it to you. That's no problem. No problem. I'll show you fish, ta fish tacos when I get it. But I'll tell you something. The Lord started dealing with me um, earlier regarding, um, as I was on the highway, uh, and thinking about it, you know, 55 miles an hour. Boom, I'm getting all these uh, these downloads and visions. Like, pull over, stop when you can, safe, and you're safe. Write down what I'm about to tell you, my son. Okay? The glory to God. And so there was a, um, uh, a rainbow, as I said earlier. And the, one of the first words that I heard was, is that... It's not now. I'm, this is going to actually going to be a good thing. Was the Iranian regime is about to be shaken, not the Iranian nation. I heard the word regime. The Iranian regime is about to be shaken. So that was the start, and the Lord spoke to me more than once with that word. And so I'm writing it down and, you know, I love that. I love that. So um, if somebody wants to see the capital, if you guys want to see the capital, you guys go ahead and put it up there on the chat. And then I'll, I'll, from once in a while, I'll look down and see if there's anybody who wants to see it. If not, I'm going to keep going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And bless each and every one of you. Uh, Carrie's with us. Uh, uh, look at that. Carrie's with us. Oh, praise the Lord. Carrie's with us. God bless you. Uh, who else? Um, man, um, Fallon's with us. You know, Evangelist Whit Whitney's with us. Praise the Lord for that. Okay. 
Then the Lord started to deal with me and more started to happen. And then I actually, it was interesting because I'm thinking that God was going to just do one thing and he did and he did twice. He also said, my son, Israel, my first born is not going anywhere and Iran is not going anywhere but the regime is about to be shaken that was powerful that's a very 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 uh, tough regime that the Lord didn't tell me how it was going to be shaken I have my ideas I don't want to speculate because people will take it wrong and say I prophesied that and I didn't. I was just giving what I thought. But I heard the word. I heard the word shaken. You know, I didn't hear the word change, regime, regime change. I didn't hear that. All I heard was it's going it's about to be shaken. So get ready. You will be you'll see this in a lot of the media something's about to happen with the regime and i understand what took place you know a year and a half ago that was also prophesied but the lord didn't say anything about the regime this is now it's the first time he actually spoke to me directly about the regime then the lord goes on oh praise the lord i love this i i see this right now let me see it says they are both the oh i heard the word they are both going to be major players guess what in the tribulation major players that's what i heard major players so they're not going anywhere okay it already israel will not destroy iran and iran will not destroy israel i'm talking about taking them off the map it's not going to happen the scriptures makes it clear and my heavenly father made it clear again they're both are not going anywhere even though there's tension but that's not all there was more the lord gave me about what i saw I'm now, now this part is not a speculation. This one, I heard it from the Lord. As I was pulling over, I heard it from the Lord. I saw an attack. And I know people are on attack watch right now, knowing yay or nay. The Lord show, showed me, and I heard the word, an attack is coming. And I saw an attack is coming and the word was from iran not iran i used to say iran the lord didn't say iran he said iran from iran regime from the iranian regime not from the people of iran but from the iranian regime i saw an attack from Iranian and I heard the word from the inside and outside now I'm still trying to figure that one out the Lord said there will be there will be that's why I'm putting up the dates there will be an attack so please please Saints pray for the nation of Israel I don't I believe me I didn't want to when I heard that it's like okay Lord do I just keep it to myself or do I just pray and it's like you're gonna pray and you're gonna tell my saints because they're going to pray the Lord wasn't finished I'm ready you know okay you know get back on the road I gotta get to sacrament no he's not finished with me it's like more and I'm reading then I'm going down more and then I saw a huge, not small, wow, I saw a huge retaliation from Israel. And that retaliation, it looked to be, it shook up the regime. I saw a retaliation from Israel. 
because they felt that America wasn't on their side the way they should. And the reason, well, why would even Iran attack Israel? And I heard the word calling the bluff of America. So this, they, they, they're going to be, they're going to be some bad mistakes here. And it's like, okay, Lord, is this going to happen? That's my question to the, my father, Heavenly Father, is this going to happen? Or can we like pray that it doesn't happen? And I didn't get a response. I didn't get a response. But I know he wants us to pray no matter what. You pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Don't, those that, that, that love them will, will prosper. We're going to pray for it. We're going to pray for both nations because there's a lot of spirit-filled believers in Iran and in Israel. Israel right now, you have to understand, the scripture says they know in part. So they don't know how this ends. They're thinking that there are certain nations that want to take them out of off the earth. They don't realize that God is their keeper. That law is not going to let that happen. It's not going to happen. It's because they don't know how it ends. Because they don't read. the. Many of them. I've been to Israel. Lovely. But many of them do not read the New Testament. So they don't know how it ends. That Israel, that Israel is kept. By our creator. Jehovah. The end, they can only go so far. And the Lord goes. That's it. That's enough. I'm stepping in. Whether it's natural or supernatural. But I said this last year. God wants Israel to call on the name of the Lord. It's so vital that they do this. But so I saw the retaliation. And Israel retaliated very strongly. They retaliated strongly. And so anyway, this shows that we have to right now pray because as you know, when you spell Jerusalem, USA is in the middle of the word Jerusalem. Period. So we're involved. We may not be involved physically, but we are involved spiritually. To pray for Israel. To pray for the peace of Israel. To pray that God will open their eye. That they may know their Messiah. That's our job. Is to pray. So something's going to go down. According to the word of the Lord. Now. I said Lord. Is this going to be like. Another war because personally, now I didn't hear this part from Jehovah, but personally, I do not think Israel wants two wars on their hands. I don't believe that's what they want. So I am praying as I'm led for them that this will be. This will either not happen, but the Lord didn't say it wasn't going to happen. He said it was, it, this was, he showed it to me and I didn't, sometimes he will give me a, to see, you know, give me a choice. You know, if, if, if my saints pray, I won't, I won't allow it. But sometimes God will allow things because he's got a bigger plan involved, uh, which we all know God's plans are better. We want God's word and we want God's will to be established in our life glory to god glory to god and this is this is the, this is going to be another historic year in a way you will not even imagine and i said this on the last broadcast i'm going to say it again saints keep your eye on june believe me believe me 
such an acceleration is going to be coming such an acceleration that the lord showed me you know and a lot of things so this is going to be very powerful and as you're watching this broadcast as you're watching this broadcast you know so i don't know what's happening over there in iran or israel right now because i'm here in sacramento i'll look later i'm just telling you what the lord showed me now this is a few hours ago so i've gotten this probably about uh 9 a uh, 9 30 a.m california time and i'm releasing it right now i'm releasing it right now now this is this is the good thing as you and i pray for israel okay as you and i pray for israel i there there's going to be like this uh something how do i say this lord like um and, and and god wishes no one to perish okay both israel the palestinians iranian americans you name it assyrians uh uh wherever you're from in the world god wishes no one to perish okay no one to perish but he's called his children both jews and non-jews that are called by his name to speak blessings and pray over the nation of Israel. And Father, we do this right now. We take authority in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. We take authority right now. We take authority over the situation, over the tension. We ask your hand of protection over both nations. We pray, Lord, that you will intervene. And, and as we intercede, that you will intervene on behalf of both nations we know that you have a bigger plan we're not going to walk in fear we're not going to pray in fear but we pray in the hope of the di your divine word and will will be established in this world and in all nations i thank you father that you are in charge and you are are, are i i have so much peace but we are asking father that you that, that your word will be established over the united states of america over israel over iran over all the nations of the world that your word will be established and your glory will pour upon this earth as you spoken in the book of numbers that your glory will pour upon this earth you've said in your word father that in the last days there will be wars and rumors of wars. You said that, Lord. So there will be people speaking of wars. It will never happen. And then there will be some that there will be wars. It will actually, there will be declared wars. But Father, you said for us not to fear. You made it very clear for us not to fear. The end is not yet. You made it so clear to us, Father. And we stand on that. And I pray for every saint that's watching right now. Every man, woman, boy, and girl that's watching. That you will quicken us and strengthen us. You will strengthen us. And I pray, Father, for the safety of both nations. The Iranians, the Israelites. I pray for the safety in the situation. In the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, amen. Saints, the scriptures makes it very clear that he is the watcher of Israel. Psalms 21, 121, 4 says, He who watches Israel will never, never sleep nor slumber. And the Lord that watches over you is your shield. He's my shield. And he will always be at your right hand. That's what the scripture says. Psalms 121, 4. The scriptures makes it so clear. Wow. Hallelujah. So I release that word on you wonderful saint. And, uh, there it is. Uh, I'm mean, if I can give you guys a small glimpse here. A small i don't know if it's, if the camera is going to do it i'm going to try to see if i can give you a small glyph, glimpse of what's going on in the capital there they're starting to tent, put all the tents up right now 
I don't know if you can see that. So people are starting to comment and everything. I don't know where, how they're gonna do. That's the capital right now. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the trees, but that is the capital, Sacramento capital right there. And uh, thank you. I don't know how, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see all that, but um, I do not know if you're in the area, the Sacramento area, uh, and you got you got put on your 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 uh, um put on your rain boots and your and your cap and everything. You know, I like that. With Anthony Smith, he said the devil won't the 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 devil won't bring chaos. That's right. That's right. That's why the Bible says for us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the peace. For you, for Jerusalem, you, and for my home, your home, and we want God's peace to to surpass all understanding in our lives. Because I got it, and I walk in it. I walk in it. I walk in it, and I have it, and I love it. And I, and I, you know, I see that's what I love about the live streams. If we can release that peace on you, Father, I release that peace on the on the saints right now. Every one of them, I release the peace of God. In the name of Jesus, I release that peace. These are glory days. Come on. These are glory days and not gloomy days. Amen. I love it. Now, real quickly, show where you're calling from right now. Let me see. Where are you? I use that word calling because I got the phone right here. Where are you watching from right now? In Jesus' name, my God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Where are you watching from? Let me see if I can call it out. Hallelujah. Let's see if I can call it out. Where are you watching from? Thank you, Jesus. We got uh, Raymond just said, uh, uh, let's see where you're watching from. Let's see if I can bring this up. I just like to acknowledge the saints right now to engage, to let them know how much we love the. I want to tell you, thank you so much for. Okay, we. All right. We have Penny Doe. I do. I, I look. Illinois, Heather from uh, Wisconsin. Look at that. Sandy from Trinidad. Woo, from Trinidad. Glory. All righty. Shirley from, looks like San, uh, Santa Ana, California. Woo, love it. And so, Saints, thank you so much for partnering with our ministry, helping us with those, with uh, the veterans that get to my heart. Those are helping us with their ministry expenses. You know, I'm asking you partner up monthly, weekly, however, and I thank you for that. I thank you for that. You have no idea what it does. I thank you. My wife thank you. Our ministry staff thanks you. And uh, keep me in prayer because it is raining here pretty hard. Well, it's raining. So I got to figure out how we're going to do all this with all the other speakers. But God loves you. Hallelujah. The good news is. That the bad news didn't work out. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next live stream. It's going to be very powerful. I'm going to be showing some uh, footages of me, Ju uh, Julie Green, uh, Amanda Grace, and uh, um, uh, my God, I forgot <laughs> all these other people here. Well, we, anyway, we're going to sh show you that and um, uh, in our next live stream. So we're looking forward to that. Love you guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.